the final race of day two, that is the Scottish Champion Handicap Chase. This is a 0 to 140. And let's take a look at them. Two miles this time, and Mandrake Roots at the top for Martin Needham. Edith Carter for James Shea. Flockton Green, Darren Thompson. Guna Getaway for Graham Clitterbuck. Rule the Seas, Paul Rhodes, Maslat and Gacho. James Shea, Hollow Spear. David Robertson, Chantilly Lace. Kevin Meehan hoping to not go for a treble of falls. Viking flagship for John Morgan similarly also fell on its only time out and Flames of Galileo for Paul Rhodes at the bottom so this could be a good one blinking you miss it almost as they race away then these two miners don't hang about usually and Viking flagship in the S07 world is a flashy front running John Morgan Grey so a lot of the wind by 10 furlongs will fall over and it's in the lead at the moment by about five lengths to Everith Carter in second and Mazla Gacho in third as they get to the first and Viking flagship got over it okay with Mandrake Root the back marker at this early stage as they get to the second of the 12 and there's a fall away Mazla and Gacho has gone so the pace catching them out already and Viking flagship is setting that pace and is well clear getting over the third and jumping really well as well there was a mistake there well, it looked like Chantilly Lace but Viking flagship is still at a stiff pace and is six or seven lengths clear, racing into the fourth. And skipped over it as though it wasn't there, to be honest. Ruler sees his second, even if Carter third, then Flockton Green on the outside is fourth. Then comes Chantilly Lace and Guna Getaway, Mandrake Root on the outside. On the rail is, is uh, on the rail is Guna Getaway, it's Flames of Galileo, who's the one slightly wider on the track. The back marker is just hollow spear as they. Swing slightly right handed then down Viking flagship with a seven length advantage from Rule the Seas in second, Eve Lift Carter third, and Flockton Green fourth. Chantilly Lace is five, and Guna Getaway sixth, and Flames and Galileo is seven, and Mandrake Rudy's eight, and Hollow Spear is just the back marker, but only by about a nose. As Viking flagship's lead is just trimmed down to five lengths, maybe he's giving it a breather, but it really attacked that fence and got over it well. Bit of a slow jump by Guna Getaway. Rule the Seas is second, Flockton. Green is in third as they take this ditch and Viking flagship again attacked it and got over it well. Flockton Green has moved into second. Flames of Galileo moving around the outside. They've got to get to this Viking flagship as they get to the next and jumped it really well. Flockton Green over it second. Rule the Seas is third. Then Flames of Galileo. Then comes Chantilly Lace as they take the next and that's the first time Viking flagship has made a mistake and it's taken a little bit out of it as well. Flames of Galileo is now second. Chantilly Lace is third. Then comes Rule the Seas. Hollow Spear, Flockton Greens after that, then a bit of a gap to the back two, Mandrake, Mandrake Root needs lift car to the two top weights, struggling at the moment, but it's Viking Flagship in the lead, Viking Flagship then, by three still, two Chantilly Lace in second, Flames of Galileo is third, Rule of Seas is fourth, Hollow Spear has come from the back and looks a big danger, unless it gets itself boxed in, Jockey's got nowhere to go at the moment, but he's got a lot of horse underneath him, he's got a double hand for it, he's got nowhere to take it, and it's Viking Flagship in the lead, over the ninth they go, Viking Flagship lands in front from Chantilly Lace Hollow Spear now switches to the outside Flockton Green's the one that's getting trapped on the inside over the third last they go and it's still Viking Flagship and Viking Flagship's not stopping and Chantilly Lace is second Flames are going to lay a third if surely if Viking Flagship stays on his feet he wins he's over it in second Chantilly Lace is next then comes Flames of Galileo who's moved into second there but it's Viking Flagship coming down towards the final fence Jockey has a little look straightens himself up for the final fence he comes into it pops it nicely Gets away from the walls, a fawn at the back there, flocked and green. But it's an easy win for Viking Flagship. Put these to the sword. But now they're a million miles an hour from the outset. Only made the one mistake and has taken it pretty easily. Is that going to be in for a big race win next week? Shantley lays second, Flames are going to lay third. Even if Carter then rule the season, Guna get away. And you've got to be wondering is that going to go for the champion chase next week or is it going to go for the handicap? Let's see what the handicapper does to it after that win, I would think. He'll probably pull it up quite a lot, but he's taken it, so it might have to go for the Queen Mother now. We top weight in the Grand Annual, I think. Viking flagship takes it for John Morgan, Chantilly Lace for Kevin Meenahan, second. Flames of Galileo for Paul Rhodes, third. Guna Getaway for Graham Clutterbuck was fourth, and Evelyn Carter for James Shea stayed on to be fifth. <laughs>